This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is on the Hadley cell. It is a convective cell in the troposphere, the lowest layer of the atmosphere. And we're looking at the rising air and sinking air due to temperature differences. And that creates pressure differences on the surface and upper level areas of the troposphere. And we're looking at the cyclic motion of this air around the equator. If we take a closer look at the equatorial region around the equator and we take our curved spherical earth and make this section flat so we can see this in a profile or a flat projection as opposed to try and do it as a sphere now we have the equator right here we have 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south and in between we have the tropics and we know this area is hot through the concentrated area and directness of solar energy and it being more consistent all through the year so the sun's radiation comes down so the absorption of energy happens here in the tropics through concentrated energy and direct angle and being consistent all year round so you have this first stage of thermodynamics which is our conduction the air is going to touch the hot surface be it ocean or land and conduct the energy the thermal energy into the air and we have this air that's going to start to rise. So you have the hot air through conduction, and it starts to rise up through hot air rising, through density and buoyancy, and we have our hot air rising through different altitudes because the troposphere is between 12 to 15 kilometers, and this dashed line represents it, and the average temperature of the troposphere is looking at minus 60 degrees. So the pause is where the change in temperature behavior happens and then the stratosphere begins but we're looking at the troposphere so this is the troposphere as our area to look at so this rising air this hot rising air will increase in altitude obviously due to pressure changes and a less pressure as you increase in altitude you're going to have a decrease in temperature and that is caused by what's called adiabatic cooling because there's no longer any more heat source up here the heat source is down the surface with conduction so as you go higher up this air is going to progressively lose temperature and decrease in, in temperature as it goes higher up up until it gets to a point of minus 60 at the pores now this air being so cold cannot sink right down because the hot air rising is too powerful and too consistent so the air must go somewhere don't forget this is a dynamic and fluid environment of gas moving all the time so if you can't sink and and go down towards the surface right over the equator it's going to be moved north and south so we move north and south this colder air is going to be moved or pushed to the side north and south and it'll get to around 30 degrees or above this latitude you know south and 30 degrees north and it'll be able to sink because it's far enough away from this rising air over the equator so this cold air that is very dense is going to sink down over the latitude of 30 degrees north and south so we have this sinking or descending air either side of the equator at 30 degrees north and south and it's going to come down towards the surface and it's going to be pushed either side because the air cannot go through the ground obviously being solid rock or ocean some might diffuse in the ocean but majority can't go through and it's then pushed either side again north and south if it goes towards the equator you get this surface wind being created to complete the cycle of moving air from hot to cold so we have our beautiful convection of hot to cold circulation of thermal energy and this complete cycle we call the hadley cell and it is symmetrical so it's the same on both sides and we have the hadley cell being formed through rising air over the equator and sinking air from the pores down over the 30 degrees north and south and we can also link in our atmospheric pressure into this we'll get into that later on this is the earth science classroom thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the content uh, check out more videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe thank you again